Hey everyone, so there's been an update to Playground AI and we're just going to dive right into it. So once you're on the workspace, you're going to notice here it says import image. You click on that, you bring in an image. We'll start with this one and you'll notice the interface is slightly different, a bit more simple. And if I can call this anything, it's sort of like text to edit and basically works the same way as text to image, except that you can edit with descriptive text. So I have this image that I created in Playground AI and I want to change the black to let's say purple. So I'm just going to enter change black wings and clothes to purple. So image strength, I'm going to bring it down to one just to show you how that works. And I'm going to leave everything else. Simply click on generate and let's see what we get. As you can see, it changes her clothes and her wings. Well, most of it to purple. And you'll also notice it does change her lip color. And even the eyes are a little funky now. Let's open that up. There we go. We can tweak this by bringing up the image strength. So let's bring this all the way up to two. And let's see the differences between the two. So I like the results of this one better, but it's still changing her lip color and her eyes are getting a little funky. So understandably so, this is still very new technology. So my initial impressions are, at least with people, knowing how to mask in a photo editor is really going to help you utilize this tool even better. So let's try a landscape photo. Maybe we want to change this scene to have snow. So we're just simply going to put in add snow. Click on generate. I left the same settings from before. And as we see here, it's added sort of some snow. But one of the things we can try, let's do an autumn sunset. So it's sort of giving it uh, that sunset look. And perhaps this isn't the best picture to do it with, but you can see it's really trying to achieve the look that I want. With this example, perhaps I want to put him into a city background. So I'll type in add a city background. Let's click generate. And there we go. We sort of see it. It's kind of blurred out, but we see it happening here. Let's bring the edit instruction strength to 10 and perhaps bring the quality and details to 50. I'm going to go ahead and click generate. If you're happy with the result, you see here it says save changes. We can save that. And then it's going to bring you back to the main workspace where you can do image to image and all the other things that are available on Playgrounds AI. I know this was a quick video, but I really just wanted to let you all know that this new feature is available on Playgrounds AI. And in case you're new here, make sure to check out these videos on how to use stable diffusion with Playgrounds AI. Till next video, my friends, I'll see you when I see you.